If you're a flathead catfish addict, there's a CFAF lake you should visit. Wellington City Lake, just west of Wellington and known for its camping and fishing opportunities, is one of many small reservoirs stocked and managed for angling through Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism's Community Fisheries Assistance, or CFAP, program. This 675-acre lake is loaded with flatheads, and since it's too small for legal trot lining, rod and reelers have an advantage here. It's a great place to catch a trophy catfish. Fisheries biologist Jeff Cook says this lake is different than many Kansas waters in its size class. Yeah. I, I kind of think of this lake as kind of a miniature federal reservoir. Um, there's parts of it that are, are big and shallow, it has real expansive flats on the old lake, but the new lake, it, it's kind of interesting. It has a lot of real deep drop offs some good, good woody structure. Um, and so it, it kind of resembles a large reservoir, but it's only 675 acres, but it has excellent saw guy, it has excellent wipers, uh, nice flatheads, good crappie. Because of its excellent flathead opportunities, Cook samples the lake each year to keep up with this particular species. He does so by shocking good habitat with his electrofishing boat just after the spawn in late June or early July. Then, fish are scooped up, weighed and measured, and quickly returned unharmed to the water. Annual sampling helps determine population health for management and fishing forecasts by species at most Kansas impoundments. But special techniques are required for flatheads which don't surface using standard sampling procedures. Instead, Cook directly targets flatheads by dialing his shocking booms to produce low amperage and slower pulsation than that needed for most game fish. This tickling current in the water brings flatheads to the top, often as far as 50 yards away from the boat. And that requires a second chase boat which zips around and nets fish that might otherwise get away. In our recent sample, two boats and seven netters helped catch about a hundred flatheads of various sizes. Fifty-pound flatheads are not uncommon in the lake and several anglers have caught fish that size this year. Most flatheads stay along the riprap and in deep woody cover. Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism works with the city to improve fish and fish habitat at Wellington and other public waters. Take advantage and fish Kansas for a great outdoors experience. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.